Hey guys, it's Steve. Welcome to another edition of Router 2 Brief. Just a quick impromptu video on my JBJ 45 gallon aquarium. Um, had a green hair algae outbreak, <clears throat> and I still do. For those of you who don't know what green hair algae is, it looks like this. It looks like green hair. It's unsightly. You see it? You can see it on the rock there. You can see it on the sand. It's disgusting. And this stuff is like a cancer. If you don't take care of it, it will spread. And I've been asked a bunch of times, you know, how do you get rid of the green hair algae in your aquarium? Well, what you do, well, okay, first of all, how it starts is by overfeeding your tank. Overfeeding your tank is going to cause the food to break down it's going to cause the phosphates to rise and the phosphates feed the algae. Um, I've heard that you turn the lights out in your aquarium for three days and you cover it. Well, that's all in good because the light feeds the algae as well. Um, but then if you have coral in here, they're going to need light to survive. Okay, so you don't want to turn the lights out. At least I don't. So I've also heard that the lighting doesn't affect it all that much so I'm going with that because I've seen a lot of people with experience say that the lights really don't affect it so I only have the lights on for maybe four hours a day I only turn the lights on to show you guys this video now there's a product you can buy it's called you've seen this a lot it's called phosphate RX all right and you're gonna put this is really expensive it's like $25 for this little bottle and you put like two drops roughly per gallon I believe so I'm doing like wait a minute two yeah one drop per gallon I think so I'm doing like 40 drops a day and um, it lowers your phosphate levels supposedly which starves out the green hair algae to be honest with you it seems to be feeding the green hair algae so that was kind of a waste of money as far as I'm concerned um, so what you can do is water changes Regardless of the size of your tank, the more water changes you do, the larger water changes you do, the better. So I've been doing uh, 15 gallon water changes in this 45 gallon, which it's about 40%, which is really good. And I've noticed when I do the water changes, the corals, they do perk up. I'm about to do a water change when I'm done with this video. Also what I do is I just go in there by hand and I just pull out the green hair algae. It's not disgusting it comes out pretty easily and um, it, it's it and I scraped the back of the tank you know I got this scraper right here to scrape off the glass inside I also go through it's got an attachment with a little claw on it I'll go through the sand with that to loosen it up and then I'll scoop it out with the claw attachment and I'll put it in a little bucket it's kind of a pain in the ass I also have a toothbrush that I'll go over the rock with a toothbrush, which is really monotonous. Um, it's not on there too well. It's kind of easy to get out, but it's still a pain in the ass. Um, so what I'm doing is, I'm like, screw it. I'm, I'm done with this. I'm not using this stuff anymore. I'm going to put that down there and keep it. Um, what I've done is uh, just water changes and scraping it off with the uh, toothbrush. Other than that, I went out last weekend and I bought myself some turbo snails. They eat this stuff. I also bought an emerald crab who's hiding at the moment. Uh, emerald crab won't be too helpful, but he will get in the nooks and, in nooks and crannies. There's a turbo snail. You can get them in all shapes and sizes. The average about three to four dollars. Keep in mind though, once the green hair, green hair algae is gone, if you have a lot of these guys in your tank, they can starve. Uh, but there's plenty for them to feed on. Now there's a guy upside down. I do check the tank daily because these guys, they will, they will fall off the glass once in a while. And if you don't fix them, they will die. So that's where this scraper also comes into play. I'll reach in and I'll just turn that dude around. And the guy I just filmed, he just fell. There he is, he was on the glass, and he's on his side, so he probably won't get up. Uh, let's see, I have one turbo snail up here. Uh, 
and I have one down here. He's on his back. I gotta fix him. And there's a third guy somewhere. I'm not sure where he is, but I can't find the emerald crab. Anyway, that's my plan for green hair algae. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Post your comments below how you took care of your green hair algae and what worked for you. Subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next weekend.